Jesus is Lord. And he was such a nice Jewish boy. <laughs> Jesus changed my life. And he's still in the life-changing business. As Paul said, the love of Christ compels me. You know, Randy, I think most people don't realize how much darkness there is it, in it the world. It can't be just coming to church and getting pumped up with a faith You and I are all going to have to have something of faith in us. Jesus died to save sinners, and you are a sinner. Shalom and welcome to Crosstalk. My name is Randy Weiss. I'm a Jewish believer in our Jewish Messiah. And today we're visiting with Swapna from India, the wife of uh, Archbishop John Augustine. Uh, we, Swapna, you, I mean, you have spearheaded the effort for the Today with God project in India. Yes. I, I want our friends to understand what you've been doing and, and what it means for the nation of India. Uh, today with God, uh is a ready-made program where we had to do the translation because in India we need to do it in our regional languages so we did it in Hindi and we did it in other languages and the common masses need to understand the scriptures in their language so we did it we did the translation and we did the whole thing we dubbed it in Hindi and it is very important because this is the best medium how we could reach the common masses. The people who are illiterate, the people who cannot read, people who do not have the time to read, there can be two kind of problems. There could be people who do not have, cannot read and who do not have the time to read because if you take the new thing, they will say, oh, I have to go, a laborer needs to go and earn his wages daily wages but if I tell him that okay only 20 minutes of your time I need you have to only sit and watch so that is no problem for him because he does not have to take the pain of reading and when he sees a visual going in front of his eyes which is something which is so related to him for instance we talk about the episode of the Samaritan woman when the village women they gather and they see this Samaritan woman and they see Jesus drinking water from the hands of a Samaritan woman and we tell them that this is something similar to the downcast, the Dalits in India, then they are astonished that how can God take the water from such a woman. In, in, in an important way, it should cause all of us to ask the question, how could God in heaven, who was perfect, majestic, king of the universe, creator of all things, yet he reached down to an unclean world that had been made unclean by sin and he sent his only begotten son to die for us. We're all Dalits in our own way. Yes. We're all untouchable in our own way. Yet God is willing to embrace us just as Jesus was willing to, he was unafraid to, to talk with and communicate and interact with the Samaritan woman. And he's very willing to interact with the Dalits in India through your efforts. Yes. So when we take them and we show them this visual, we say that we are going to have a session of 20 minutes or 30 minutes. We are going to show you an audio visual. They are very happy because it's like entertainment, it's not like boring that we are going to read some pages and we are going to advise them or we are going to lecture them. So it's an, something and when they see that visual and when they see that it, those are villages, whether it's a village from a, some other place or whether it's a village in India, they are all same, where the wells are all same. So when you see a downtrodden woman and you see Jesus, they are surprised and they start thinking if he can take water from her, he can take water from me, which means I am can also be as blessed as she. And he said if, you know, to, to the masses, you know, it, he's the water of life. Yes. He, he's, he's the answer to man's problems, to women's problems. And the people to whom you take 
this vi visual series that has the power of the Word of God because it is word for word from the, the Holy Bible in a theatrical release, dramatic reenactment. And they see people dressed similarly yes. in, in a similar looking culture. People go down to the river, just yes. like in India, they yes. go down, down to, to the, the river. river to fetch water. Yes. And when he says these words that I am the water of life, it is not a literal statement. It is a highly symbolical, very deep meaning. It has a lot of depth, which means that water, which is so precious for life, without which we cannot live. He is that water. And so we need him, that water, we need him in our lives. Without him, we cannot survive. And without your help, we could not take this project to the people of India. So we are so delighted that you and, and Archbishop uh, John Augustine and, and the people with whom you work and, and our friends at World Missionary Evangelism, you're helping us to reach the people of India with this powerful gospel message. But there's so much more that, that you do. There's so much more that we're able to do together. And we need to take a short break. But when we come back, I want you to hear a little bit about the incredible work in poor villages where people are learning how to have truly a better life through practical application of things that we take for granted here, but in the villages of India, it's new information. Please stay tuned. Consider the fruits of a ministry worth supporting. The ministry of Crosstalk International. We are more than just television. We are ministry. We sponsor native missionaries around the world every month. We spread the gospel with Today with God to the ends of the earth. We helped build a leprosy clinic and fund it monthly. We partner in missions through Simi. We teach the word week in and week out. We spread God's love to the people of the world in the languages of the world. We bless the people and the land of Israel. And we're not done yet. Pray about financially supporting this fruitful ministry. 1-877-97-JESUS Or find us on the web at crosstalk.org. Check out the all-new IBN television. I got his Follow the move by tuning in as we partner with ministries like Greg Laurie and Harvest America. Serving our audience 24 hours a day, IBN broadcasts on 52 television stations around the country and on popular streaming apps like Roku, Apple TV, Android, and many others. With one purpose, to share the move of our living God with the dying world on a daily basis. IBN Television. Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, this is Crosstalk. My name is Randy Weiss. We're visiting with Swapna, and uh, I mean, it's just, it's quite remarkable. These are the most humble people. You and your husband are just so delightful, and we're so grateful to be able to work together. It, it, you are humble folks, just living out the gospel, doing what the Lord has called you to do, yet, your position is of such an influence. You guys are the head of the, the Church of India. There's 10,000 churches that you oversee and you know, perhaps 500 people at every one of those churches, millions of people. And yet you are the very, very, very down to earth. And you bring the gospel one-on-one -on -one to people. And you're using the Today with God project in your outreach. Uh, I'd like to share with our audience how the curriculum that has been provided for the Today with God project is being yeah. used. Earlier when we did not have the curriculum, then we used to make our own uh, brochures and we used to make write-ups of how to have the Sunday schools for the children and how to go about uh, making groups of people because we were working with the illiterate people. So then when we got the curriculum, then we 
translated some for the other speaking those who are a little educated who can start read english and who can manage that we started uh, we have the ministers wme ministers we also have our church members who are quite enthusiastic especially the youth so we distributed it to them and then we made groups of people who would go from place to place and they would use that curriculum and the places where like we are working in the state of uttar pradesh where we have very less christianity but when we started sending these youths then this curriculum proved very beneficial to us because it's a ready made material and this they have been taking and they have been making programs for that like uh, this sunday we will be doing a certain thing and then after that we also have uh, an assistance of the audio visual so that has been helping us a lot for reaching the people these materials have provided to be a boon and this was a big uh, it was our hope from the beginning that the content though we use it for television and for broadcast we knew we believe the greatest benefit would be one on one or in groups as in home churches or in sunday schools or in discipleship training that these materials could be used by someone who may not him or herself be fully equipped to teach the material they could pre- present the material and let it be taught just by allowing it to be seen and heard and understood and the curriculum enables someone who is learning how to do these things to have the right questions and the right answers to stimulate the dialogue and to disciple new believers yeah. see where the places where we do not have television and uh, this is not broadcasted in india so this curriculum was very helpful because now we are training the people in our churches that okay let us take a group of say 10 people and then we train them that this is how you use it and this is how you go about so those 10 people then further train a few more people so it's like a chain so we are building up a chain where more and more people could be helped and this we could reach to we are trying to reach as many people and trying to come in the lives of as many people as possible when my son josh uh, came back from india on one of his recent trips and he told me that the leaders of the church of india had instructed the pastors of the church of india and the regional directors from world missionary evangelism to incorporate the today with god project and the curriculum in their outreaches and in their teaching efforts and in their uh, their work to reach the nation of india and burma and ceylon and, and pakistan uh, I just wanted to cry. I was so thankful because what you guys are doing is exactly what we hoped from the very beginning could happen but we didn't know how. And now the Lord has made a way and we rejoice and I want our audiences to understand this so that you'll know how to pray. I want to ask you for for help. Not for me. You know, I have a computer. I have a laptop. Uh, I don't need a computer. But do you know how important it would be if we could equip missionaries on the field, pastors on the field with an iPad or with a laptop with a USB drive that has the Today with God content in the language of the people. Every one of these that are distributed to a pastor, it's put into place, they're taken to the field, they're used in churches, they're used in evangelism, they're used in crusade outreach. They require so little. A USB drive that has the content, an iPad, a laptop. Some of you may have iPads or laptops that you're not using. I promise you if if you want to send them to Crosstalk, we'll put them to good use. They'll be in the field. where lives will be touched and changed with the content. Now, the the USB drives are specialized. They have to be formatted a certain way and prepared in such a way that they're not erased and that they're not used for other things. So, they cost more than a regular USB drive, but we know that by using these specially formatted USB drives that have the content on it ready to go and they're not going to record over it, they'll use it and use it and use it and use it again. 
But these things cost money. You know they do because you go out and buy them for yourself or for your kids or your people that you care about. Would you care about the people of India? Would you care about these people in the villages who don't have TV or satellite? But if a missionary or a pastor shows up and can play this content, they can come to know Jesus the Messiah. Jesus, the one who went to the woman at the well and asked for a cup of water. And the untouchables in India can see themselves in that Samaritan woman. And they can realize that God crosses all boundaries. There are no barriers to the love of Jesus. The marginalized are brought close to Jesus. That's what we want to do. And I believe some of you want to do that as well. I'm going to ask you, please, contribute to this work. Your donations are tax deductible. And if you have an iPad or a laptop or a dozen of them, send them to us. We need your help. And God will use them in mighty ways. And I believe you will be blessed by partnering with this important work. I ask these things in the name of the risen Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. Southwestern Assemblies of God University School of Business has a vision to make an impact in the lives of students and the world. To be uncommon, you have to look outside the walls of traditional thinking. That is why they reached out to Crosstalk International to work together to develop a plan that teaches students to change the world by actually doing it. Dr. Lashawn De Beckwith of SAGU and SAGU alumni Joshua Weiss of Crosstalk took a group of 10 believers to both India and Sri Lanka and engaged the people in ways that have never been done. The Business for Missions team put their education to practice as they did quality research to develop successful micro-businesses. This team is infusing hope into a people in need. The process of developing these businesses is a three-year plan that will not only present ideas, but will help implement them and then make sure that they succeed. The team also brought the quality teaching materials of the Today with God project and left tools for the local churches to be empowered to spread the word of God to the people of India and Sri Lanka. Through the Today with God project, the Business for Missions team gave the opportunity to see, hear, and understand the visual presentation of the gospel message. Together, the Southwestern School of Business and Crosstalk International have provided the tools to be fishers of men, but have also shown how to be fishers of fish. With God's help, they are bettering people's lives in both physical and spiritual ways. And this is only the beginning. Did you know that leprosy still exists? That's why a few years ago, we worked with World Missionary Evangelism to create a leper clinic here in India where we provide the medicines and food and the gospel on a daily basis. One thing we found was that the children of leper patients were contracting the disease as well because they get the disease through regular daily contact over long periods of time. So we worked with WME to create a children's home where the children of these leper patients could live nearby their family, but give them a hope and a future free of the disease. Would you consider sponsoring one of these children? Would you consider helping to give them a hope and a future? For just $25 a month, you can give that hope. You can provide that future. Less than a dollar a day. Give us a call at 1-800-688-3422. Welcome back to Crosstalk. I'm Randy Weiss and we're visiting with Swapna from India. And in addition to the work of Today with God that you help us with there, uh, you also are helping us with the work of what we call Business for Missions, where we're trying to simply uh, engage uh, Christian university students who are in business programs who we believe need to be involved in mission outreaches and we've been successful in convincing some of the Christian universities to 
send their business students on mission trips to help teach the people in lands such as India how they can have a better life by developing simple micro businesses. And you are also at the forefront of that. Your help is so important. Thank you for inviting me and um, I have come here to the United States and I found uh, that there are churches at uh, within a mile there are two three churches but the number of people that are going to the churches are very less so we, we were trying to find out why is it so then we found that the people have all sorts of amenities, they have all the luxuries in their life, they need not go out anywhere, they can call for food at their doorstep, they can, they can go on cars, they can get everything right if they are sitting on the bed. So when you have everything, then you don't need God. But the people in India, we have people in our churches, I was able to make a church in the city of Lucknow and when I went there, there were hardly a few people coming. And then when we started the Today with God shows, then the people started coming and now I have more than 500 people coming to that same church. When we were doing this business, uh, uh, business permissions, permissions we realized that the children of the United States, they need to know firsthand how the people of India live or survive. Those children who have everything need to go and see those children who do not have anything. So this kind of a work where we try to tell the children of India, the people of India who are working with us that, okay, we don't give you just money. You eat the money and then the money is over. We tried to do a project where, okay, I will give you something. Now you have to multiply it and from that you earn, you learn and you earn and you can then survive. We teach people we to become self-sufficient. It, it is better to teach to be self-sufficient. It is better to teach a person how to fish rather than give him one piece of fish. And in a nation where the government is not always friendly to Christians. Sometimes Christians are held back. Sometimes the opportunities are not made available to them. And when Christian families can learn to develop their own methods to earn. And when they are getting an opportunity of somebody coming and helping, then they should grab that opportunity immediately. And because the government is not helping, but these people, these children, they are saving, the universities are sponsoring them, they are coming all the way and they are trying to help them to understand how to start a business. So it is that we can do the business as well as we can also have our work, other work, whether you are a pastor, whether you are a student, you can work while you are also doing your other things. Sure. So the both thing, things can be done together. So I think it is the perfect method how we can teach these people to be self-sufficient and it need not be that always the poor should always remain poor. The poor, if they take this opportunity, they will not remain poor because they learn to survive. And then if they have some wherewithal, all of a sudden they have a new level of respect from the society around them. Yes. And Christians don't have to be pitied. Christians don't have to be disrespected or looked down on. As Christians elevate their status, by working with wisdom, yes. by being trained to do things that can earn a better life for them. It doesn't minimize their beliefs. It, it, ex it allows them a position to be able to express their beliefs with clarity and, and w with a place of influence. They don't have to beg if they can work in a, in a meaningful way. And we're not talking about sending students from Christian universities to help them open up Walmarts. Yes. They're students who are going to help them, teach them, help them develop a plan so that they can have a goat farm or a little beauty parlor, or fix hair or make baskets or do things that they can create an opportunity for themselves, their families and the church community. Besides that, uh, uh, there, are, there are two more advantages. One, that the government 
blames us that we are giving them some sort of uh, showing them something and we are trying to make them Christians. So, that is minus. Second thing is that these people also do not look towards the church that if we need the church will provide. So, the things which have been happening in the past that we de need and the church is going to provide us food and the earlier this has been done in India that the church used to provide them with uh, wheat and rice and everything. But if the church comes, if the people come and tell the people that see you can survive by doing some work, but we are going to help you start that work that is the best method rather than teaching them to beg. Yes, absolutely. We, and we are delighted that we have found success with some Christian universities who recognize the importance of sending students to provide tangible help that is not a one-time assistance. It is for a lifetime of yes. benefit. And it is a three-year program. The first year students go and they develop some of the ideas of what would work in this region with these particular people and then they come back another year's students come back and 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 sort of they have a plan now and they help that plan become deployed and then a third year's students come back and and help measure these things to see how it's worked and the the results are wonderful you're seeing results yes in the lives of people yes well, I, I'm just, uh, I'm so thankful that we're able to partner and work together with you and with your husband, John. I'm so thankful that you're our friends and you, we share the same vision. We, we want to. We share the love of Christ. That yes. is why we are able to work together because we share the most important thing in life, and that is the love of Christ. And when we share love, then we can share everything. We can share our work. We can share this partnership is not just a partnership. It is the love of God that is making us work together. And I'm very grateful to you, Crosstalk and WME, for providing us this opportunity to work together to share this love because that is what is the most important thing in our lives. Thank you so much. I hope you will be willing to pray for Swapna and for her husband John and for the work that goes on on the ground in India. Pray for Today with God. Pray for the leper clinic that, that uh, we partner with. Um, pray for the children's homes where these the children of lepers are protected and cared for. Pray for the work of business for missions. Pray for the work of today with God. We love you. We love the Lord and we thank you for joining with us in prayer and in any way that you are able to participate. Till next time, Shalom and God bless you.